Hello everybody. I was uh, I kept putting off this project forever. I bought this uh, Tim Holtz uh, original assemble assemblage clock. You all know how that looks. It's that nice metal clock, amazing. And I wasn't sure what I want to do with that and what look I'm going for. So I was having it on my stash forever. But then I somehow I got the inspiration from the other people it was always thanks to everybody on YouTube who shared their video and I came up with something what I I was gonna do I wanted to do so I got this clock and uh, first of all I just all, all this shiny uh, surfaces and then I put this uh, acrylic paint on top of it uh, it says furniture walls wood guns okay are uh, all brown espresso brown I don't know it doesn't say the color as a way I don't know it's of course it's brown but I don't know the exact uh, name of the color but anyway it does give you this rusty nice effect so that I was uh, first I was coloring it with red acrylic paint and then with black and on top of it I did this color which is really nice rusty and uh, a little bit of glue you see here and there I was going for having a kind of watery kind of look like it's wet somewhere because there's an inevitable that I would do you know, uh, I would not have any stains of uh, E6000, so I have it here and there, but it could be going for a water being here and there on the surface. It reminds me kind of, of like District 9, kind of Fallout kind of look, or um, oh, what was the name of it? Walking Dead kind of item, like something that after the end of the world. I really loved it, really loved how it turns out. And I used for the clock, I wasn't sure what I was going to use for the clock in there, but eventually I found this Tutter Time paper collection, and it's extremely looking good on that. I cut out some other uh, clock, but it didn't work out well, so I cut out this uh, clock from here, and look how shiny it is, and it's all dimensional embossed really nicely so I got that going and uh, I wanted to place here the wings for the time fly kind of idea but I thought that doesn't look very clean and nice I was thinking I would go rather for rusty thing so I wanted this to come out, come off easily and be not a problem for anybody who gets this clock and I got this on there, uh, how to say, cut out of cardboard, this thing. And I placed this uh, Tim Holtz um, uh, gears, metal gears. And it's kind of mixing with the picture. So it's some gears are drawn on the picture and embossed, and some gears are real metallic. And of course, the cloak is real. That's how I like my clocks. I'm really obsessed with making clocks. I love that. So the frame is um, I placed somewhat trinkets in there to add some interest. There would be Chinese coins and I'm roses roses and somewhat uh, pearls and this is a little um, oil lamp like an old style and I like the idea with the uh, that thing, I don't know the name of it in English, I forgot, of course, and this one, uh, this is mask, some of the trinkets, uh, what I have from Natasha Scrub Book Corner store, and I'll show to you all of them, and that is from her too, and this is a little other uh, metal gears from the little clocks, from skybluepink.com, you could order them if you see them the little 
very tiny gears and this is some roses this is a little zip uh, lock from my old stars this is from Natasha Scrabucona trinkets and I placed it all around to add some interest to it in that um, I placed around here the uh, the chain with I had on my stash and I incorporated a little bit of roses in it so I thought it looked uh, cool like some kind of ivy going around I don't know and that was really easy to place any trinkets on a chain because it's nice and mm, nice and chunky big holes you could place anything pretty much in it so that's that's the trinkets from Natasha Scrap Corner they are absolutely amazing they are not expensive at all it looks it's like $1.99 for five or six trinkets it's absolutely amazing price here I have a clocks I have nice uh, other trinkets here I have these masks what you see over here on the clock and it's pretty cheap too it's very amazing look and trinkets absolutely great qualities see this angel you could see it on the other side of the frame of the clock right here this little flower I had on my stash already so that doesn't belong to it but and this little alarm clock which is a replica of that big clock so it's kind of rhyming together so you have it here the exact same big thing in here and all of that all of that I, I really was gonna keep them for a long time didn't want to spend any of it or use it until I thought like what the hell am I doing they're just laying there doing nothing and I better use them so for the for all the trinkets and um, and the chain I used this alcohol ink which I love, it's my favorite. It turns anything silver to anything rusty looking, which is the look I was going for. And this trinket is absolutely amazing. I love how it's like on the rusty background. That's its original color. The I alcohol in just a chain, sorry. I messed up seeing this. So you pretty much you I glued it all with X6000 6, and then you go and place this clock on it you kind of straighten it up that it would be showing 12 in here then you kind of close it as a can I really really love what I have I can't take my eyes out of I'm just so loving it and this big um, skeleton leaf from Natasha's Krabu Corner I was um, I was gonna place up front on the frame but then I thought it's gonna cover all my stuff what's in the inside and I decided not to just for now but that looks nice too so I might later on I don't know. I'm absolutely in love with what it is. It's this clock. Maybe because it's new for me. <laughs> I just really love doing this. Okay. I was so happy to share that with you guys. Thank you so much. And Merry Christmas to all of you. Happy New Year 2016. And I love you all. See you later. Bye. Thank you.